right. This is episode one of the Demand Channel Show. After putting up more than 100 videos on YouTube, I figured, hey, let's just call it a show. Let's keep it rolling. And in the first episode, we're going to be looking at Sojourn, which is Travel's direct demand engine. I, I love this because, you know, we're all about creating channels, creating a direct uh, connection to your guests. And in this month's episode of Hospitality Upgrade, uh, Sojourn explains a little bit more about how they do that. I'll read it here. So Sojourn is Travel's direct demand engine. Sojourn's pay for performance model reaches travelers in market for your destination with free custom online advertising for your property. You only pay after guests complete their stay. That's amazing. Now, another amazing thing about Sojourn is that you only have to give them a seven day trial run. So there's no cost, there's no money up front, and your commitment's only seven days. It's not a long-term contract. This is a great thing because you can try them out and you can see what, what kind of revenue they can drive to your, to your hotel. And, and it also has a catch because if your website's not converting, if people are not booking, but Sojourn is investing in pay-per-click and all, you know, they're buying all this data, they're, they're doing all this service for you and they're not seeing a return on investment, well, they have the option to opt out after seven days as well. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you the seven day plan that we can help you put in place to make sure that people are booking so Sojourn continues to buy the data, continues to push the best guests to your hotel, and you continue to convert them into loyal guests. Okay, let me cut to a screen share and uh, let's take a look at that, all right? Okay, so something I didn't mention in the introduction is that Sojourn buys very, very targeted data, which means that you are appealing to the people in the right age group, the right education, right affinity, right socioeconomic group uh, for your hotel. And this is really great because it helps enforce the culture that you're trying to create. Now, that's, that's a very powerful business advantage, but it doesn't work unless they close in the first seven days. So here's how hospitality copywriting helps make sure guests book in those first seven days. So on day one, well, Sojourn does its, its magic. They send qualified traffic to the hotel website and the seven day pixel countdown begins. Pixel means that they, they put a pixel on the thank you page of after your checkout process and, and until somebody hits that, they don't collect any commissions. So what happens on day one, when people land, they really only have three choices, right? Um, number one, they can book a room. And this, this has worked really, really well for Sojourn. Um, they've basically doubled the size of their business every year with this model. Number two, they can sign up for a bait piece. This is something that hospitality copywriting puts together, which is something of value that anybody, whether they, they're planning to stay at your hotel or not, when they notice it, they say, wow, this can actually add a lot of ease and convenience to my life. So this is an eight day plan. And in this map, after they give us their email, we send them this map and they can, they can click on any one of these pictures on the left, and then it opens up to the mobile app on the right. So this shows them point to point navigation with some nice highlights, uh, and it lets them get a feel for what they can do and see as they travel around. Then we also send them uh, right away an email that shows them the perks when they book direct. This is a really important message to put right, right up front in the relationship that you're going to show them that there's a lot of extra things you can do when, when they don't go to the OTAs, right? The third option is they can leave your site altogether. That's the worst case scenario, but unfortunately, 95% of people are leaving your website right now never to return again. And, and that's, that's good for your competition, but it's really bad for you. Okay, so we don't want that to happen. So the bottom line is that by adding a lead generation strategy, we double our chances of closing. And we're also showing Sojourn that we're very committed to making the relationship work. And I think that's very important. So the next day, after you have their email address, we then reach out with user-generated content. And this is content that 
just like people are looking for on TripAdvisor, it shows people the real inside story. On the left, you can see that we've composed these pictures to create a day, uh, which is really nice because it lets people understand what they can do. On the right, you can see that we've, we've pulled videos. You know, people have put artistic effort into creating these videos, and they're very cool. They're really, really cool. Um, there's blogs that people have put together. It's, it's fun. It's entertaining. It sets you apart. The next day, we send them an offer to sign up for the VIP club, and the VIP club is a real nice, um, it's a nice alternative to the loyalty membership club because that, that takes a lot of management. The VIP club, they sign up, they go to the booking engine, and it's a locked offer, which is cool because it's a better price. You can see how the, the, the pricing has been organized so that even if people haven't gone through our email list, they see this and they get curious and they fall into our VIP club by themselves. This also creates a nice micro-commitment moment so that, that, again, they don't go to the OTAs. Next, we're going to push them deals on social media. And these deals are kind of cool because they answer the what am I going to do there question. So you can see this is a room plus surf lesson uh, deal. And that's something that you can set up with a local affiliate, a local business, one of your buddies in the community. And it, it really makes things easy for people. And it also makes, makes you unique. It makes you stand out against the background of all the other hotels that just offer a room, right? So people click on the picture. It goes directly to the booking engine with no other offer there. You know, we, we know that conversion optimization is best when there's only one, one choice to go forward. So they click on the picture. There's only one, one picture, the same picture that they, they clicked in on, on the booking engine. And then if they don't like what they see and they, they close the booking engine, well then we also have a pop-up that gives them another level of engagement, which is 110% guarantee or, or whatever you would like. And the cool thing about this is it's another micro commitment. It shows that people raise their hands and now they're open for limited time flash deals, etc. And, and we, can, we can put them on another mailing list that just targets them for pure transactional email. And I think that's pretty cool. Next, we're going to help people with their itinerary. We're gonna help them with their planning. You know, making things convenient for people is very important. So we send them our entertainment-based newsletter. Again, we're not at the transactional point now, right? We're, we're still making sure that we have a real voice um, so the header, as you can see here, is it's about the scene. It's about the action. It's about the, the experience they can enjoy when they get there. We're, we're not just pushing room type name price. Next, we also send them stories so that when they see these, this is something that they can kind of scroll through uh, during, during their lunch hour, right? And they can get entertained. These are sort of uh, reader's digest based stories and and when we do that again we stand out from the competition we stand out from people who are just trying to say book now book now book now next we we do offer a couple managers room specials and then we offer a personal note so we humanize ourselves as you know we need to build that no like trust element this, uh, this widget here that's in the email is called the stay for longer widget. And this is the real meat of the email. This is something people can zoom into. They can, they can check out all the things to see and do in the area. And it gets people thinking, hey, honey, do you want to do this? What about this? We should check this out. Then they can plan an itinerary. They can add different things to see and do to day one, to day two, and, and I think that's really important because we're taking the work out of it for them. And then they can email it to their spouse, to their friends. They can share it on social media. And then when they do that, I think it sends a really cool message. It, it sends a message to their friends like, hey, let's go do this. This looks really cool, right? So it makes it easy for them to gather their friends together. And that will increase the size of your booking. So I, I think that's very cool. Next day, well, step seven 
this is this is still day six we're gonna look at a price comparison because people do have a lot of difficulty shopping apples to apples so we we show them look when you when you book this is the price that's listed and this is the price that's listed on booking.com those are not always the same but sometimes the top line price is 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 actually better on booking.com but the the end of the day price is better on your direct booking channel we also use the members price uh, category which is which is really cool uh, because again we're, we're showing the VIP we're showing the special perks but at the end of the day you want to show that the bottom line price compared to the top line price on an OTA is going to work out to be better so you know people at this point they've know they've gotten to know you like you trust you and now we're just going to show that we have a couple dollars difference and or using the members price they're going to get a big difference so why not do business with us right we we started off the relationship saying that there's lots of perks when you book direct but looking at the price looking at the dollars and cents thing it all makes sense right so book last chance we send a limited time book direct offer and this is a, a big grand gesture you know we, we started off by saying hey when you book direct there's lots of perks but look at this you can get an experience that other people can't get and it's free when you book direct then you know you can get into all the details you can show people what exactly they can do etc and then stress the one day only offer with easy cancellation you know that's the, that's what the OTAs are doing all the time right they're using that type of messaging but if we're gonna say look at this this is gorgeous but it's only today and it's only when you book direct well then we're really really showing people that they should book so this is the seven day plan that we can help you put in place to make sure that when sojourn is working with you your bookings are not going down the down the hole right they're they're not falling outside of the good return on investment for sojourn and so you are setting up a really good long-term relationship with them all right well that's it for today's episode of the Demand Channel Show. Hope you've enjoyed. Please leave comments below or questions and I will talk to you soon. Hope you're having a great day. Bye now.